Hello everybody, you just caught me here. I'm just about to throw just a few a few um, lumps of clay here. This is a, a stoneware clay body and um, what I'm going to do is just quickly throw some bowls. So, well, I thought get the camera out, get them to join me. So, there we go. Lump of clay thrown down on the wheel. Oh dear. I wonder if ever, you've ever done anything like that. Just just going to too much in a hurry there. But I'm I'm rectifying it as I go. You see? We had a little hiccup but we got over it. Make sure your bowls are got a nice smooth inside bottom with a nice curve to them. Now these little bowls I'm making I want to actually put onto the the outside. This is a fairly light buff coloured stoneware clay body. But what I want to do is I'll probably glaze it on the inside but on the outside I'm going to do a combination of uh, different clay slips so it'll have a sort of dry outside but I want to put onto here some red uh, iron slip, some black iron slip, um, another, my actually my, one of my regular clay bodies but in a, in a slip form, lump of clay, okay, where the, where the clay joins the wheel head, take your thumb and just centre that too. I think it's a good little tip though. Nice clay, it's nice and soft. La la la. Yeah, so the outside actually I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some some wax do a sort of partial wax resist and then the different coloured slips, black iron oxide slip, red iron slip and another darker stoneware clay body slip over them as well in some sort of, I haven't quite decided actually how, it's, how I'm going to do it exactly. But the first thing was make the little tea bowl cups, which is what I'm doing now, and my grandfather used to say, so I'm told, he didn't say it to me personally, but he used to say, get the shape right first, when you're making a pot, don't get hung up on the decoration, get the form right, get the shape right. I think that's good advice actually. If you think of a pot as, you know, the compare a, plot, a pot to the human body, think of the pot as being the, the body of the person and think of the glaze and the decoration as being the clothing. A 
let him off. Put him over there. No, 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 no. Good to be back on the wheel again. These will be trimmed afterwards, or turned, whatever terminology you want to use. In England we tend to say turned, but in the... Our American friends and Canadian friends I think say trim, but... A little bit of leather, fella. Cut him off. One more. stuff clay isn't it flowing through your fingers up she comes Looking for the shape, looking for the curve. Fully flowing curve. Yeah. Stick it. Just a token sticking because these are going to be, as we said, trimmed. Dee, 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 dee. Oops. Trying to get over to the US, by the way, doing to do some workshops in the in the near future. So try and give you some more info, info on that when I know about it. Or maybe you're maybe you're a member of a Potter's Guild or something. Maybe I can come over and we can have a bit of hands-on workshop. See what happens. So, put that fella there. Okie dokie. That's it, folks. I'm Leach here saying keep practicing. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye now.